Let's take a look at the middle school section of the Time for Learning Pre-K to 12th grade curriculum. Time for Learning takes students through a complete learning process. They learn skills, develop understanding and perspective, and build critical thinking within a multi-subject curriculum. Many families use Time for Learning for all four subjects, and some use it for just a few. Time for Learning allows students to log in whenever they would like and progress at their own pace. Families can customize a curriculum to meet their students' individual needs, selecting from a variety of courses. Parents, you can use the Planner tool to set up the year's schedule based on your start and target completion dates. There are automatically generated reports that show your students' progress. These reports are perfect for homeschool portfolios. Let's look at some demos highlighting how the lessons include all the steps of the learning process, instruction, skill development, and assessment. First, a sample of instruction from 8th grade math. Many students benefit from graphics and tables to organize math data. This lesson covers the concept of expressing numbers between 0 and 1 in scientific notation and demonstrates how the values can be visually organized. Time for Learning lessons begin by giving students the background knowledge needed to anchor their new understandings. Astronomers believe our Milky Way galaxy is made up of more than 200 billion stars. Imagine having to write this 12-digit number every time. Notice how the instructional portion starts with an attention-grabbing connection. Fortunately, scientists came up with a more efficient way to write very large numbers. It is called scientific notation, and it's the topic of this lesson. Within the instructional portions of the lessons, students are also given clear definitions and explanations for the academic language they'll need to know to understand the content. For example, 4 and 5 tenths times 10 to the 8th power is a number written in scientific notation. 4 and 5 tenths is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10, and the base, 10, is raised to the 8th power. At any time during the practice portion of the lesson, if students feel they need to review the previous instruction, they can go back. Astronomers believe our Milky Way galaxy is made up of more than... Now, a sample of 7th grade language arts to show how Time for Learning lessons provide students opportunities to practice skill building. Many students struggle to use or even understand non-literal language. This sample highlights how students build skills by applying their new understanding about expressions, specifically idioms, and how they are used. We have to start again. We're back to square one. If you're not sure, just let me know. Note that if students are unfamiliar with idioms, they can choose the answer, what does idiom mean? An idiom is a saying that means something different than what it describes. In this case, the lesson sequence returns to instruction as required. The old time word show. I have some great guests today. Let's get started. Burn, what's up? Bring anything for us to look at? Well, I got this word in the mail earlier today, and since then, nothing has made any sense. See, when I asked my mom if I could talk to her, she said she was all ears. And I just, just the thought of my mom becoming a pile of ears was so scary, I, I ran out of the house. And, and then I bumped into Chad, and he asked me what was wrong. But, but I was so scared I couldn't answer. So Chad asked, has the cat got your tongue? Oh, my God. A cat ripping out my tongue! I, I, I just ran away, and then I, 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 I... Spit it out, Vern! Huh? You want me to? Okay. <laughs> Vern, that's disgusting! Why did you do that? Oh, Rita, I, I, I'm so confused. Well, I am too. Oh, I see. Vern, it's okay. It's okay. Your word is pronounced idiom. Idiom. Okay. But if a cat gets my tongue, will you help me get it back? Because, Rita, I really need my tongue. You won't lose your tongue, Vern. An idiom is just a saying. They're sort of weird. Word for word, idioms often don't make sense. You just have to know what they mean. And lastly, when students are ready to successfully apply their new skills, Time for Learning lessons provide automatically graded quizzes and assessments. 
Let's take a look at one from Middle School Civics, Government, and Economics. Before students submit their quizzes or assessments, they may go back and forth between the items as much as they'd like. Students can also save and exit whenever they choose and later return to where they left off. When students are ready to submit their answers, they click Submit. Once submitted, quizzes and assessments are automatically graded and students receive their scores immediately. For those who are interested in adding foreign languages to their curriculum, this option is available through a premium elective called Time for Languages. This edition gives students the opportunity to study English, Spanish, Mandarin Chinese, Latin, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Russian, or Hebrew. This concludes the overview demonstration for our middle school curriculum. If you'd like to learn more, please choose a subject area demo or take a look at the How It Works page. Goodbye!